Hi, welcome to the next training session of SAP controlling module. The topic for today's session is profitability analysis, which is also known as COPA. In today's training session, we'll be covering the above table of content, introduction on profitability analysis, terms, common use terms which should be known in the profitability analysis is operating concern, characteristics, value fields, then the methods or methodology of determining profits, then the which are cost, costing based COPA and account based COPA, master data in profitability analysis, profitability segments, Categories of characteristics, categories of value fields. Moving to the next uh, is the actual flow, value flow from the other modules to the COPA sub-module in the SAP controlling part where we'll be looking after flow from SD module, flow from FI and MM module and flow from the product costing that is one of the sub module of controlling to the COPA module and then we'll be revisiting the configuration steps so this configuration steps will be an overview we will not be actually doing these configuration steps these are the basic configuration steps to be done for implementing profitability analysis and then we'll be discussing about COPA planning. It's the same way how the planning can be done as we have uh, done earlier in the cost center planning and internal order planning. Similarly, COPA planning is to be done. So these are the different table of content which we will be covering in today's training. Now moving to the first part that is introduction on, con on profitability analysis. This is one of the important component of SAP to know the profitability of various segments or an organization. This is coined as COPA or PA that is profitability analysis within SAP. It basically collect the revenues from the sales order cost from the production order cost center or internal order and analyzes their results in terms of profitability. The main purpose of this tool is in hands of the management is to know the profitability of various market segments and also we can project the future profitability of various market segments for the organization. The market segments over here refers to the example that is profit on a certain product, profit on a certain product in a certain reason or even the profit on a certain product in a certain reason by a specified customer. So the, you, can, you can just uh, have an idea that how these segments can be categorized. So it's up to the organization how they want to go further to analyze the profitability. They want to analyze the profitability on the basis of the product or the product as well as the reason or the product, reason and the customer all together. So the profitability analysis sub-module within SAP is also known as, as said, COPA that is COPA or PA that is profitability analysis the abbreviated form of profitability analysis COPA gives you the ability to analyze your profitability on many different segments and characteristics it acts like an information receptacle that can analyzed that can be analyzed from several angles and viewpoints COPA that is controlling profitability analysis can combine the elements of gross margin profit reportings, 
found in the ST module with other relevant expenses that you decide to bring over to COPA. COPA is a reporting tool and have been developed to do exactly the same. You can combine information from almost all areas that is all different modules within SOB so as to have the reports or the reporting from COPA. The other areas or the modules from where it takes the information for reporting purpose involves SD that is sales and distribution, FI financial accounting, MM module, then PP production planning, CO that is controlling, PM project management, HCM that is human resources and so on and generate a report that will help you analyze your business more carefully and with a much better developed set of informations and records. Profitability analysis is one of the most powerful reporting tools in SAP ECC environment. So this is one of the very important module which we will be going for an overview on. So moving on after the introduction to the terms used in profitability analysis. These are the common use terms which you should be knowing. What are the different accounting methods used in the profitability analysis? Then the operating concerns, characteristics and value fields. These are some of the fields or terms which you should be knowing in the later part. So first moving on to the approaches or accounting methods that is the costing based profitability analysis and account based profitability analysis. The approaches to profitability analysis if you move to the costing based profitability. In costing based profitability data captured from the sales documents directly to the profitability analysis whenever posted in the FI and the other modules. Normally in costing based approach the data is captured from the billing documents that is the ST module sales and distribution. Whereas moving on to the next that is account based profitability data flow takes place with the postings to respective accounts. In sales flow the account postings will be done at the time delivery of goods where COGS will be updated with the goods issued. There are document flow in the two approaches most of them are similar except a few of them like the cost of goods sold. The cost of goods sold in the costing based it is updated when the billing is done whereas in the account based it is it has been updated when the goods are issued or delivery of the goods are done to the customer. So these are the two approaches if we, if we better go on elaborate these approaches further COPA can capture and hold the data in these two ways that is two approaches one is costing based another is account based. An operating concern can be costing based or account based or both forms of COPA simultaneously. Both forms use characteristics to store the data about the information that is updated in the profitability analysis. In costing based profitability analysis values and quantities are stored in value fields. Value field group together similar values and quantities. A good way to think of value field is as large groupings of accounts or cost element. So it groups the similar quantities and values to the value field groups. Whereas account based profitability analysis updates the value in accounts. 
instead of characteristics. The same account, account over here refers to the cost element that are used in FI and the rest of CO. The costing based is the original method that was created for profitability analysis updates and groupings. Costing based COPA lets you manage information based on when different postings are assigned such as when sales order documents are updated and when data is transferred from FI and the other modules. It will allow the analysis of information for marketing, forecasting, what if analysis and other approaches for reporting purpose. Normally large amount of data transferred into COPA is from sales and distribution billing document. It is important to understand the document flow in sales and distribution, the normal document flow to the cost based profitability analysis is one sales order creation. The second is delivery. Here the delivery creates goods issue which uh, makes the journal entry as the cost of goods sold gets debited and the inventory gets credited. And then the third document which is created over here is the billing document and in the billing document updates the customer, sales revenue, discount, fret and so on. So when costing based profitability is used, profitability analysis is updated when sales order is created and when the billing document is created. In both the cases COGS that is cost of goods sold, revenue, discounts, fret and so on are updated all at once in the costing based profitability in profitability analysis. Whereas moving on to the next is the account based. In the account based profitability analysis was created to allow users to reconcile profitability analysis data to the FI data. So in the account based profitability the users tries to reconcile the data of profitability analysis with the FI data. It captures values according to the account posted to instead of value fields. If we go back the costing based profitability captures the value from the value fields whereas the account based profitability captures the value from account posted. So the account based profitability is updated at the time of account is posted to or basically when FI document is post created. Using account based profitability, the profitability is updated during the delivery that is goods issue and creation of billing document. The normal SD document flow in account based Profitability is one sales order creation, then the next is delivery. The delivery creates goods issue again where the COGS ledger is debited and the inventory ledger is credited. COGS is updated in COPA in account based profitability at this time and the billing document. Billing document again updates the AR, sales revenue, discount, fret and so on. So the difference between these two is that COGS is not updated at the time of delivery in costing based profitability. Whereas in account based profitability COGS is updated in COPA at the time of delivery that is good system. And FRET are not updated until the time of billing document is created. 
So these two methods have their own advantages and disadvantages with respect to which should be preferred and what are the differences and what are the impacts how to decide which of these approach to be decided by the organizations. So if you look for the differences between the costing based and account based profitability in the costing based profitability characteristics and value fills are dis used to display the reports whereas in account based profitability it use cost and revenue elements to display the reports in costing based copa you can calculate anticipated cost whereas in account based it takes real cost and revenue from the fi module hence you cannot calculate any anticipated cost whatever there is it is the actual cost costing based copa use tables specific to copa which may and may not agree with the fi tables whereas account based copa use co application tables revenue in co costing based copa revenue and cost of sales are posted when the billing document is posted whereas in account based copa revenues are posted when billing document is posted while the cost of goods sold is posted when the fi posting occurs for goods issue so there is a, a small difference over here in the costing based co cost of sales is updated when the billing is done whereas in the account based cost of sales is updated when the fi posting is done at the time of goods issue costing based copa at a given point of time it may or may not reconcile with the fi part but in case of account based copa it always get reconciled with the fi module values so now the bigger question comes up is which method should an organization prefer now the answer to it is it depends on the requirements and how the organization use the copa data most company companies use costing based copa because it is more aligned with the true purpose of copa that is controlling profitability analysis managing sales profitability information however on the other side some companies use account based copa because the accounting department uses sap to reconcile copa to the general ledger so in the costing based profitability reconciling is not the purpose of the copa whereas in account based reconciling is again one of the purpose of the copa in that case the difference in the two methods is that the costing based uses value fills to update the currency values and the account based stores currency values in their related cost elements so this is the app to costing based and account based profitability analysis approach or you can say is one of the met two methods or these are the two ways by which profitability analysis is done in the copa module now moving on to the next is the few more terms which you should be knowing while moving on further one is operating concern operating concern is the highest organizational unit in profitability analysis as well as in sap controlling module where structured sales market is analyzed and proper reporting system can be evolved as a dynamic tool operating concern is the highest point where the organizational data 
is regenerated in such a way to fulfill for the organization easy decision making operating concern is the central tenet of copa that is profitability analysis hence we have to set up the characteristic fields and the value fields for reporting system operating concern is client dependent so it is the operating concern which decides how the data captured is stored in the copa as well as what characteristics are captured for each piece of data before you begin developing your operating concern it is important to map out what type of data you want to capture in addition to the characteristics that are important to your company or to your client for copa reporting purposes it is easy to add characteristics to your operating concern but it is very difficult to remove them from the operating concern once they have been posted to so the copa is somewhat of a system hog in which it stores redundant data so it is important to store only the information you need for profitability reporting more than once so that is about the profitability concern moving to the next is characteristics characteristics values represents organizational internal or external units like customer customer group products divisions regions sales areas profit centers a company code the characteristics values are defaulted by sap however we can define the required characteristic values if required for the project so in this sub module of copa it use many characteristic values to know the profitability the characteristic values are well below the gross margin level that is products customers customer group reason and all as said copa becomes copa comes with many fixed characteristics so as said copa comes with many fixed characteristics fixed characteristics are part of operating concern and cannot be changed or deleted characteristics of type f are fixed characteristics they are generally available for your use in drill down reporting whereas characteristics of type t are technical characteristics these characteristics are stored in line items but generally are not available for reporting the fixed characteristics come delivered with hard code hard coded derivations that determine how the characteristic value is updated and with what value so moving to the next term now is value fields value fields represents sale revenue sale deduction cost of goods sold and also quantity details we can say that the value fields means the group of accounts or cost elements the profitability analysis tree will be built basing or you can say based on the characteristic value and the value fields only the main difference between the two approaches is how the data store mechanism evolves like values and quantities so the value field 
take the place of GL account for storing currency data in the costing based profitability analysis. However, creating a one to one relationship between GL account and the value field is not their purpose. A value field should group similar type of currency transactions such as revenues, sale, sales dot discounts, COGS into one bucket. You can also use value fields to store quantities such as sales quantity. So you can determine profitability per unit. Unlike with characteristics, no fixed value fields are activated in the value field part. So these are the some of the basic terms which should, you should be knowing operating concern, characteristics, value fields. Now moving to the next is master data in profitability analysis. So the structure in the master data of an operating concern is determined by the characteristics, value fields and cost and revenue elements as on the screen. Characteristics is the is what decides the profitability segments there. Value field such as revenues, rebates or sale discounts etc is the costing based profitability analysis. Whereas cost and revenue element as on the first part cost elements, you have to create revenue cost elements under the category 11 in the cost element master data and for sales rebate or sales discount you have to select the cost category as 12 to allow the update of SD conditions in the costing based COPA that is controlling profitability analysis. So moving further is the profitability segment. Profitability segment as you can see with the diagram is a reflection of a market segment. Here you need to decide whether the profitability is to be decided for a particular product or for a product reason wise or a product with respect to a customer or even whether profitability is to be looked for a particular reason irrespective of the product or for a particular customer for a particular product. So profitability segment corresponds to a market segment. You can calculate the profitability of a profitability segment by comparing its sales revenue against its cost. The application profitability analysis lets you analyze the profitability of a segments of your market structured according to the product, customers, orders and summarization of these and other characteristics and the organizational units such as company code or the business area. The aim is to provide sales, marketing, planning and the management organizations with decision support from a market oriented viewpoint. A profitability segment in any operating concern is defined by a combination of characteristic value. Characteristics can be concepts already available in the SAP system. So a characteristics can refer to a customer. It can even refer to a product or to a reason or a sales organization and so on. Or you can define your own concept such as any such as like order size class. 
so the data is stored in the data cube as on the screen in this profitability segment the profitability segments are unique combinations of characteristics in your operating concern not all characteristics are defined at the segment level such as technical t type characteristics as we discussed you also have the option to include and exclude some characteristics from the segment level in this process you are deciding what characteristics should be included in your segment level table for analysis and reporting purpose if you decide to make a change after the operating concern has has data been posted this will have an impact on the data entries into the table and you may find that the report performance may get affected so you have to decide your profitability segment with respect to the characteristics very carefully at once in the system so moving to the next is master data in profitability analysis profitability segment object within profitability analysis to which cost and revenues are assigned a profitability segment corresponds to a market segment and the market segment is defined with the help of the characteristics you can calculate the profitability of a profitability segment by setting off its sales revenue against its cost a profitability segment in an operating concern is defined by a combination of characteristic values characteristics can be concepts that already exist in the sap r3 system which refers to customer product sales organization and so on so this is about the master data moving to the further is the categories of characteristics this we have already discussed when we discussed the characteristics term where there are fixed characteristics like f and there are technical characteristics like t so that we have already discussed earlier so as we discussed in the characteristics about the fixed characteristics in addition to the fixed characteristics which is up to 50 non fixed characteristics can also be added to an operating concern which can be defined often only 10 to 20 of these are required to meet most companies reporting needs whereas moving to the predefined characteristics there are several characteristics which are defined by the sap in the sap system like product customer sales organization which are predefined automatically for every operating concern these are also known as the fixed characteristics and the custom characteristics means what can be created as a new by the in the system by the consultant or by the organization within that particular part so the very specific characteristics can be even can be categorized in the custom char category uh, characteristics like the sales group business segment or business fields it is possible to view the information in profitability analysis by any combination of these characteristics you can view any segment that is defined by a combination of characteristics values moving to the next now is the categories of value fields in costing based profitability analysis value fields store the base quantities and the amount for reporting value fields can either be highly summarized or highly detailed just one part of a single cost element balance generally value fields are highly detailed with regard to the sales performance figures like 
the type of revenues, discounts, surcharge, extra and more summarized for other items related to the period cost like the type of period expenses. The new operating concern generally have 20 to 60 value fills now these days. Unlike characteristics, these are not fixed value fills as we already discussed in the in the terms when we discussed the value fills. It is not necessary to create value fills for calculating the items such as net sales, contribution margin, extra. These items are normally calculated from the base values stored in the value fills during the report execution progress to minimize necessary data storage requirements. So again in this there are predefined value fields by the SAP or even new value fields can be created as on the screen to you the under the predefined value fields you can see sales quantity revenue and stock values these are predefined which is delivered by SAP itself whereas the customized or you can create your own value fields which has been created over here on below part like fret or marketing fees as well. So this is how you can you can categorize your value fields, your characteristics and all. Moving to the next part is the actual flow, value flow overview to the COPA. How the values flow from different modules to the profitability analysis module. In this we will be looking will be uh, going through the val flow of actuals in the profitability analysis where flow from sales and distribution module which includes flow from billing document will be will be discussed then flow from FIA MM module direct posting which includes general ledger postings and MM postings and then flow from product costing which includes settlement of production variances to profitability analysis will be discussed. So before moving on to discuss each of the modules, let's see how the flow of actual values, flow of actual values flow in the profitability analysis. The actual postings represents the most important source of information in COPA. You transfer billing document from the sales and distribution application component to COPA in real time. You can transfer cost and revenues from direct posting that is GL account posting in FI, orders received in MM and so on. And settle variances from cost objects that is production order from product costing mod part to profitability segments. This is how the actual account based profitability works whereas in costing based profitability you can evaluate incoming billing document to automatically determine anticipated sales deduction cost or even estimated cost such as estimated port charges. You can also reevaluate your data periodically to adjust the initial real time valuation or add the actual cost of goods manufactured. So moving from to the next is the flow from sales and distribution module. So as you can see that there, there is a diagram which has been on your screen and it shows you how the business process that is when the goods is issued how it impacts the accounting in COPA the goods receipt is triggered by a delivery in SD this affects the values in the MM module and the FI part that is material management and financial accounting the balance sheet and change stock change postings are made in the FI when the goods issue is posted according to a 
price in the material mast. So if you see in that, once the goods are issued, the accounting entry which is generated is that the inventory gets credited as you can see in the diagram over here, the inventory is credited by $4975. On the other hand, the cost of goods sold gets debited by that much amount. Note that the goods issue postings does not cause any data to be posted in the costing based profitability analysis. So it is what has been said over here, no posting because we are going through the costing based analysis. So when the goods issue posted, it does not have any posting in the costing based COPA. The cost of goods sold is only transferred to costing based COPA when the billing document is transferred. So this is how the value flow from here to here. As of now, the accounting entry is generated in the FI part in this particular case, but it will not flow to the COPA part. Now when it will flow, it will flow when the billing will be done. So let's see the billing part. So now in this, we are moving to the billing part now. So when the billing is done in the business process over here, sales billing will be done over here. So when the billing is done, the customer or the receivables gets debited and ultimately the sales or the revenue GL gets credited as on your screen. In the FI part, you can see the, the receivable has been debited over here and the sales has been credited. And this is the accounting entry which gets generated into the SAP system. So the following data is transferred from bills and debit and credit memos to the COPA, revenues, sales deductions, if there are any related to shipping, discounts and on. So you can see over there on the screen that a document number has been generated, a reference document number generated, customer number has been generated and the revenue amount has also been generated. Whereas the stock value is 4975 and you can go through this condition types because in SAP the data flow from SD to COPA on the basis of condition types. So this is the condition types over here on the screen to you and these are the value which has been picked up over here. So the cost of goods sold is only transferred to costing based COPA when the billing document is transferred according to a price in the material master and a material cost estimate valid on the date of a delivery. This enhancement helps to reconcile cost of goods sold posted in FI in a moment of a delivery with the cost of goods sold posted in COPA during the billing. It is extremely important while there is a huge time gap between a delivery and a billing. So this is how the data flow from the sales and distribution to the COPA part. Moving to the next is let's see how the data flow from FI and MM module to COPA. So using direct posting in FI you can post actual sales reductions such as annual volume based rebates or actual cost such as demurrage cost established when the period was closed in order to allow the short term analysis to the corresponding profitability segment. This type of posting will not take place often but can be used to cost any time of automatic transaction to COPA. Now let's take an example includes inventory revaluation. That is manual with transaction MR21 in MM module or with post closing steps during the material ledger period and closing while the system uses periodic unit price that can calculate 
by last price determined for the material to revalue the material stock of the previous period. The data is posted to a profitability segment found on the basis of the information found in the FI document. So in this case, you can see over here the data flow from FI to the CO part on the basis of the value fields accordingly on the basis of the revaluation. So over here you can see the gain or loss on inventory revaluation and these are the different assignments on your screen to you. On the basis of these the value flows from the FI and the MM module to the COPA part. So again let's take an example of a transaction in FI and MM like when the revaluation is done there could be a transaction entry done on the basis of MR21 and accounting entry gets generated. So in that case you can see that the GRIR is debited and the demurrage and detention account got credited. So this particular entry gets posted to the COPA as well. The system can determine a profitability segment by means of substitution for automatic posting and the corresponding posting is then posted to the profitability analysis part. Typically business transactions for which a profitability segment is found automatically includes price differences, revaluation of material stock and inventory differences. So this is about the flow from FI and MM module to the COPA part. Moving to the flow from CO product costing to profitability. After posting the production process that is the production orders in the controlling part or at the end of the period product cost collectors the production order variances will be settled to a price difference account and to COPA which happens by the system internally. So this is over here on the screen you can see that the production order is there and there is a plan cost and there is an actual cost and ultimately there will be certain differences or variance and those variance which is found in between these two gets posted to the COPA part from over here to this profitability accounting it gets posted to the uh, profitability analysis part. So this is goods issue of material from the stock to the production order then confirmation or al activity allocation is also been posted to actual cost and then from the product costing side there are certain plan cost and ultimately there will be certain differences and those differences will get posted to the profitability analysis. So at the end of the period only this can be done with the help of the period end activities and the variance gets settled in the profitability analysis as a profit or a loss. So this is how the transaction flows we have went through from different modules to the profitability analysis part in the system and now moving on to the next is the configuration steps. So as in screen you will find the various basic configuration steps for profitability analysis. These are the steps which has to be executed so as to implement the profitability analysis into the SAP system and the steps on the screen includes create operating concern, assign controlling area to operating concern, maintain characteristic groups, assignment of characteristic groups for assignment screens, assign characteristic screens for line item screens, create number range for actual postings in profitability analysis, activation of profitability analysis, then mapping of sales and distribution condition types to COPA value fields then assign value fields, maintain profitability analysis transfer structure for direct postings, 
define forms for profitability reports and create profitability report. So we'll not be going through the configurations in the SAP system as of for the profitability analysis. But the steps are there on your screen which you can go through of your own because this is basically an overview on the profitability analysis but somehow I have uh, list down the configuration steps for you as well. And once these configurations are done it is not easy for the testing part because it involves the other modules so you have to involve the other people or other consultants from different modules like sales and distribution, marketing management, uh, modules people so as to configure your system because you need sales and distribution condition types which needs to be mapped in the profitability analysis as the majority of data that is transferred to COPA comes from sales and distribution processes including the entire sale order process one area in sales and distribution where you can you we use conditions to represent different activities is in the process of creating a billing document. The billing document which involves revenue, discounts, cost of goods sold, fret and so on. The conditions are given value based on the configuration of each condition types. For example revenue condition types is set with a particular price and on the basis of that the revenue values gets picked up. You can also map quantity fields from sales and distribution documents to quantity value fields in COPA. This is a standard configuration process in the profitability analysis part and without the condition types you cannot flow the data from sales and distribution module to the profitability analysis part. So this task is uh, a very complicated one it's not a simple one because a one particular consultant or one particular module cannot implement a profitability analysis at all as it is an integrated system you have to integrate each and every different modules which are uh, from where the value has to be flown if a condition type is not mapped or if suppose you have not mapped the condition types and you go for uh, any of the billings after implementing the profitability analysis and you go for creating a billing document then the accounting document will not be created or posted and even the system will give you an error related to this as well. So this is how you need to go for the profitability analysis. This is all about the overview on profitability analysis. The one part which is left in the in the profitability analysis part is the COPA planning. That is profitability analysis planning. A COPA and planning provides lots of functionality to allow you to produce the type of planning your company needs. Some of the standard features include in the planning part is the ability to copy actual values to a plan value or a version. The ability to copy values from one plan version to another plan version. Top down distribution to spread a plan to lower characteristic levels based on the past history. The ability to transfer plan data to sales and operation planning or do additional integrated planning. So in terms of importance COPA planning is an important as actual reporting information is important. The profitability analysis planning is probably the most integrated and flexible planning solution within the SAP system. Since you are collecting information from numerous areas or modules within, within the SAP system, it only stands to reason that the planning process can be as complex as you want it to be or as detailed as necessary to run your business. As far as required planning goes, COPA planning is not required unlike cost center accounting planning wherein some cases it is required for 
component to create information for accounting type which is in turn are required by the production planning to create the standard cost. So the profitability analysis planning can be high level. You can plan the sales information for the year or it can be detailed. You can plan the promotional activities by period to period for combination of products product groups, reasons, company codes and divisions. You could go on and on about the benefit of planning and the tool set that profitability analysis offers. So this is about the profitability analysis planning which is again is one of the very very important and most integrated planning system as, as said. Uh, but this is not a mandatory part for any organization. If they have the scope to plan for their organization, in that case, they go for a profitability analysis planning part. So this is what we have discussed in the whole today's training session. We have covered all the table of contents part as an overview on the profitability analysis topic. And we'll see you in the next training session with a new topic. Thank you.